So let's continue on our quest to make elliptic curves usable for cryptography. And for that I want to introduce generators and cofactor. So if you remember, generators were group elements that generate the entire group just by repeatedly applying the group operation to themselves. So on an elliptic curve, a generator is a point, because points are the group elements, that generates all points on the curve or a subgroup of points on this curve. So on our toy curve, 2000, mod 2503, we have the point G, which generates a subgroup of size 37. Now what does that mean? Well, if we add G to itself, repeatedly. G, G plus G, G plus G plus G. We add, we reach different points and after 37 of them we end up at G again. So G generates this subgroup uh, that is shown here. These are all points that you can reach just by adding G to itself repeatedly. So this subgroup that G generates has a size of 37 because you can reach 37 points by adding G to itself. So the generator G has subgroup of order 37. Now there's another theorem that you don't need to know in detail but it states that the order of ele any element of a finite group divides, divides the overall group order. So, with that in mind, we can introduce another term, that is the cofactor. So, the cofactor of a generator is the order of the group, so all points, the number of all points on the curve, divided by the points that the generator can generate, so that the generator has in its subgroup. So, as we have seen, the generator has 37 points that it can reach, and the overall curve has 2590 points. So, the cofactor of this generator, the generator was this point here, cofactor of this generator is 70. So the cofactor of a generator is a kind of measure to tell you how many points this generator does not reach.